It seems like the showrunners were saving a lot of the less interesting story development for this episode. I liked a lot of the Sam and Gilly bits, the dude who played Randall Tarley was fantastic, but that bit seemed to drag a little bit. I think it would have been better if that had been cut up and spread throughout two episodes. So where's Sam going to go now? He has a Valerian steel sword, so I figure he'll probably go someplace where he can use it. He's probably returning to the wall where he can help John out, and postponing becoming a maester. If Sam doesn't die before the end of the series, I suspect John or Daenerys will make him Hand of the King, or Queen as the case may be. The Arya bits were great. I'm glad her scenes are not just more training montage, but it seemed to me like she turned on the faceless men a little too quickly. She spent several episodes trying to prove her trustworthiness, and the moment they give her an actual assignment, she's like, fuck this, and gets her sword back. Given how headstrong Arya is, we knew that this would happen eventually, but now I'm starting to wonder why she didn't just take off the moment she got her sight back. The best bits of this episode, like many episodes this season, are the brand bits. Now that he can see through time and space and is nearly omniscient, he can fill us all in on what the fuck is going on. I love that we finally got to see the Mad King Eris, and I hope we see more of a recreation of that whole event rather than just a few short clips here and there. It's great that Uncle Benjamin is back, he hasn't returned yet in the books, and he seems to have taken over the role of Cold Hands. Apparently he's been partially turned into a White Walker, which makes me wonder to what extent he can be trusted. Apparently Jamie is going to the Riverlands to deal with the Blackfish. In A Dance with Dragons, he's been there for quite some time. A lot of the shit he does in King's Landing in the show doesn't happen in the books, because he's been in the Riverlands lands for much of that time. I don't like it when the show strays too far from the books, so it's good to see that they're returning to the original story a bit. Daenerys has her dragon back, which is great, but I, like several other people, thought the pep talk at the end was kind of unnecessary. You've got a dragon, that's impressive enough, you don't need to give the Bill Pullman Independence Day speech. And she needs lots of ships. Euron is building lots of ships? That works out perfectly. A lot of folks seem to not like this episode, and I see why, since there's not a lot of action. But nonetheless, there were a lot of of important story developments, so it doesn't feel like a waste. These plot points had to be elucidated at some point, so the episode still seemed very necessary to the overall story. Cersei's trial by combat is coming up, and she's going to have the mountain fight for her. I don't know if we'll see the fight next week, but the episode is called The Broken Man, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Sparrow trots out the Hound as the guy who will fight against the mountain. It doesn't seem as though the Hound, especially considering his injuries, would be much of a challenge for the mountain, but this seems like an underdog story, and I I think most people sympathize with the Hound, so it would be hard not to root for him, and I have my doubts that Martin would have him lose. The downside of that, of course, is that if he's fighting for the Faith Militant, then if he loses, Cersei's probably going to do something unhinged and desperate that will end up fucking up everyone's shit, especially considering the fact that the Sparrow has Tommen in his pocket. Marjorie's acting like she's in his pocket too, but I think she's just faking the whole thing. Since the witch who prophesied that all of Cersei's kids would die has been right about Joffrey and Marcella, Tommen will probably die too, and if he gets in Cersei's way, I wouldn't be surprised if Cersei kills him herself. That's my theory anyway.